The first step to installing ZoneScan Smart on your Android device is to go to the Google Play Store. Once in the Google Play Store, search ZoneScan Smart. Once you find ZoneScan Smart, go ahead and install the app on your device. After installation, tap open and allow access to your device. When ZoneScan Smart started for the first time, a wizard will guide you through the setup process. Accept the terms and conditions and click continue. Next step is to input your company name. This is given to you by your Guterman sales representative. The next step is to input your link serial number located on the back of your communication link. This number is case sensitive and should be inputted exactly how it's printed on the back of your comm link. After your link number is inputted into the box, click continue. On the next screen, you are asked to pair the link with the Android device using the Bluetooth settings. Open up Bluetooth settings on your device. Making sure that your Bluetooth module is on on your device as well as making sure your ZoneScan 820 communication link is on with a solid red light, you should be able to view your available device, which should start with the CL number. Select your communication link and insert the pin. Four zeros. After pairing your device, go back into the app and check your Bluetooth connection. Once the link is paired, you'll be moving on to your next screen, which is to add your logger set. The next step is to add your logger set to ZoneScan Smart. Open up your case of loggers and select add loggers. You have two options. You can either enter your serial number, which is a six digit number on the outside of each loggers. Once you add the logger to your set, it will highlight the number in parentheses of loggers that you have added individually. You could either add each one individually or click until number and add loggers in succession, lowest to highest. Once you've added your amount of loggers, once again, it will highlight the loggers in parentheses. And then click back. The loggers that you have added should be listed in the logger set and once your logger set has been complete and each logger serial number is shown, you hit the blue check mark to move on to the next section. After putting your logger set into ZoneScan Smart, click on the main menu on the upper top left side of the program. In settings, when you click on general selection, you're able to change the units from imperial to metric or from metric to imperial. Making sure your link serial number and your company name match up, go into account settings. Here is where you're going to put in your server project, username, and password given to you by your Guterman sales representative. This must match exactly and is case sensitive. After inputting your settings into ZoneScan Smart, go ahead and click back on your tablet to the main menu. On the top left hand side in your main menu drop down, select projects. And in projects, you will have two selections. Make sure that you edit one of the selections and name it the company name given to you by your Guterman sales representative. This name must match exactly and is case sensitive. Once you've created your project, hit OK and you are ready to create your first lift and shift area. By clicking on the top left hand side drop down menu, your very first step is to create an area of the place that you will be deploying your loggers. Select new area and enter the name of the area within your project in which your loggers will be deployed. It is always best practice to put a date of deployment. Once you have selected your area, hit OK. And once again, making sure that this area is highlighted by the green dot. Once in your area, your first step is to program loggers for deployment. On the top left hand side in your main menu drop down, select program loggers. In this menu, you will see your area as well as your logger set. And each one of your loggers will be checked with a green box. If you do not wish to deploy all of your logger set, simply deselect the loggers that you wish to leave. 
After you have highlighted the loggers you wish to deploy, select Next. Here is where you are going to program the loggers for deployment. These loggers have two distinct settings, noise level measurement and correlation. Noise level measurement is simply noise data, amplitude, how loud leaks occur. When you go into start time, you can select what time the loggers are going to turn on at. We recommend when your system pressure is highest and your usage is lowest, which in this case is 2 o'clock a.m. And we're going to let these loggers listen for two hours. And you can select that duration here. You want to make sure that this bar is turned on and green. The next noise selection is correlation. This is the frequency measurement the logger takes. It's always recommended to start at the noise measurement time and you can select what type of correlation. We recommend standard correlation three recordings and you can select the interval. Your next step is to program the loggers by pressing start. Make sure that your ZoneScan 820 communication link is on with the solid red light hit start. The comlink will communicate via Bluetooth to the tablet and wake up the loggers. And the loggers currently are waking up as you can see by the percentage at the bottom. Communication link will reach out via radio to each individual logger. Once the logger is found, you will see found and programmed listed here and each logger will be highlighted by a blue dot confirming that the logger was programmed with the settings selected prior. Once you have programmed your loggers for deployment and you are ready to deploy them in the field, hit the arrow at the top right button that's blinking. By clicking this bullseye location indicator at the bottom of your screen, it will toggle on and off and track your location. When you're at the location of your valve box that you are trying to listen to, hit the deploy logger button at the top right a logger box will show up. Here's where you're gonna input your six digit logger number exactly as it looks on the side of each logger. Hit okay and you'll deploy the loggers pin on the map. Follow these steps until you have deployed all your zone scan loggers. If the GPS is not available, it will ask you to use manual mode to deploy your loggers. Tap on the deploy button to see the purple dot on the map. Once you see the purple dot on the map, you are able to move the location of the logger to where you would like to deploy it. After that purple dot is in the correct location, click the drop button here and it will deploy that logger in manual mode. Once again, deploy all of your loggers in your area and click the arrow to finish here. When you are ready to collect your zone scan loggers, go to the location of your first logger and click the collect logger button here. It will bring up your logger box and here is where you're going to collect the logger by the serial number on the side of each logger and hit OK. Once you've hit OK, it collects the logger individually here and pulls the pin from the map and at the bottom you're able to see how many loggers you have collected. If you are wanting to collect all your loggers at one time, there is an option here to collect all loggers. Here it says collect all loggers deployed in the area and then hit OK, and all the pins will be pulled from your deployment area. Making sure that you have collected each logger from your deployment area, click the finish arrow here. When you hit finish, you will be directed to the collect and get data screen here. Making sure your communication is on, each logger will be collected by the communication link and your leak scores will be highlighted right here. When all of your loggers have been collected, if any of the loggers have not been found, make sure to click retry missed and it will continue forward. Otherwise, hit results and it will ask you to calculate the leak results for the downloaded data. Click proceed. 
Here is where it will calculate your correlations and show you how many correlations were between each logger on your deployment. After hitting OK, click Show Results and you will be able to see your correlations on each of your loggers. You can check to see whether or not you have received data from the loggers by going to the main menu and clicking on Table. Here you can select each one of your loggers and go into each logger and see both noise histogram and spectrum here, as well as your battery voltage, firmware, etc. By clicking the main menu button, you can go back to map and see your different correlations here. You have the option to highlight on the correlation and select the correlation between two loggers. Here you can see we have a quality of 100% leak score between two loggers. By clicking this, pencil button over the line, you're able to draw a pipe in as directed by the wizard. Here you'll draw the pipe in after selecting where each logger is. After adjusting where your loggers are, hit this plus button here to add a pipe node in your system. And here you can draw in where each of your pipes are located. After confirming that this is indeed where your pipe lays, hit save and continue and OK. And here you're able to change the material, diameter, and length of each section of pipe you have created. After confirming that each pipe type and diameter is correct by using either a measuring wheel or a GIS map, click save. And here your leak will be pinpointed by sliding over, you are able to see distance between each sensor. After you have completed all of your correlations, the next step is to send the measurements of the area to zonescan.net. Clicking the back arrow to get you back to the main menu, you're able to see your entire area that your loggers were deployed in. Top right hand side is more options, select that. And here is where you're going to upload measurements to zonescan.net. Making sure that the date range reflects when the loggers actually listened to the pipe. In this situation, the loggers listened from 2 to 4 a.m. on the 23rd of February and retrieved them on February 23rd during the day. So we're going to edit the date range to reflect when the loggers listened. Make sure that the upload all areas of project and upload pipe boxes are both unchecked. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is currently connected to your tablet and hit upload project. Once the measurements have been sent successfully, it will say Guterman Cloud upload successful on the bottom of your screen. Congratulations, you have sent your measurements from your deployment of loggers to zonescan.net. Log in to zonescan.net on any web browser to manipulate your leak data. You are now safe to turn off your tablet and store your Guterman ZoneScan 820 equipment.